here's my issue and as you can see there's nobody in the car with me so i'm not popping fly just because i want to fucking pop fly no here's my issue i signed up for the red cross nursing assistant program way back in march put a down payment to secure my spot you know they told me put 150 down and then you pay the remainder of your fucking payment a week before classes called yesterday which was monday you know a week before my class my class starts april 4th 2016 and this is the response i get oh you're not going to be able to start that class okay well why not what's going on oh well, you're just not going to be able to, re to start that class okay well i need an explanation well we can't really give you one right now but what we can do is we can refund your your down payment here's my thing class start next week okay i signed up for this shit the beginning of fucking march okay i went to your motherfucking registration class in february when the fuck was i gonna get a letter or a phone call saying hey bitch you're not gonna be able to start this class because we done fucked up we're gonna refund your money and maybe you'll sign up for a future class but at the moment starting april 4th you won't be able to start this class i never received that type of fucking notice or anything else from them and this is why i'm pissed off this is why i'm on my way down there now because it's like you're not just about to sit here and take my money and then a week before you tell me oh you can't start a class bitch i done fucking rearranged my life to make this shit work on the fourth in a whole month excuse me excuse me again and for you to sit here and tell me a week before class start oh this class has been canceled we don't know when the next class is gonna start unacceptable this is why this is why black people are so fucked up because you don't know how to handle business had I received a letter at some point last week saying, listen, classes have been canceled, something happened, this, that, that, I'd have been fine. I'd have been fine. But when I called to make a cash payment or to set up a cash payment with you and I'm, I received a response saying, oh, you can't start this class because this, that, and the third, which it wasn't no this, that, and the third, which is like, you can't start this class because we some dumbass niggas that don't know how to take care of business. Maybe you overscheduled people. Maybe you fucking being investigated. I don't know what the case is. But when you try to dismiss me and I'm paying cash, sweetheart, this ain't welfare. This ain't no grant. This ain't none of that shit. This come out my fucking pocket and ain't nobody fucking helping me with this payment. 12 fucking 50 for your classes. And I get told a week beforehand by me calling and not y'all notifying me that the classes are canceled. Well, see, then we got a problem. Then we got a problem. Now I got to go to your head. And I got to act ghetto. I got to do ghetto shit. I don't like doing that. I don't like doing that. I know how to get ghetto. And I know how to act like I got some fucking sense. But at the end of the day, when you do dumb shit or you do shit in a ghetto way, you going to get a ghetto ass response. What you thought I was going to do? Sit here, keep calling, emailing you. I'm never to do that. Now I gotta go down here. And I gotta talk to you face to face. I gotta see why the fuck I signed up for a class that's supposed to start on April 4th that ain't starting at all, or it's gonna start at a later date, but you can't give me a date. Now I gotta come down here in your face. Now you gotta deal with me, and now I'm on my ghetto shit. I'm not on my Susanna shit. I'm not on my motherfucking white people shit. I'm on my ghetto shit. Why? Because you don't know how to take care of business. You don't know how to call and just be like, you know what? We fucked up. We fucked up. It wasn't your... Damn, he crazy? He ain't stripped though, so he pussy. Anyway, we fucked up. And we're going to issue you a refund. Sorry for the inconvenience. I would have taken that. I'd have hung up the phone. Swear to God, I would have been like, okay, no problem. Whatever, shit happens. When I call down here and I got this old bitch getting ghetto with me, I got this dumb bitch getting ghetto with me, like, now y'all want ghetto on ghetto, now y'all gonna get ghetto on ghetto, because I'm straight from North Philly all day, so at the end of the day, I can get ghetto with you, so at the end of the day, you sit up here telling me, oh, you calling again today about what I talked to you about yesterday, yes, bitch, because that's money involved, you're motherfucking right, I'm gonna follow up with your ghetto ass, because I haven't received a call, and it's going on 10 o'clock in the morning, I talked to you yesterday at 4 p.m., you want to explain to me why the fuck I have to wait? Why I'm supposed to sit here and be patient when the fuck you owe me? Nigga, you owe me. It ain't no motherfucking talking in between it. If I owed you, okay, we could be a little lenient with that shit. Because, for one, I don't really have to fucking pay you. I could just pay you the 150 not register, and you just got $150 out of me. But, bitch, I gave you $150 to secure my spot for April 4th, and now April 4th is not happening, so now I got to come get in your face. Because you being ghetto as shit over the phone, telling me, oh, you calling back for something I talked to you about yesterday. Yeah, you talked to me about it yesterday. I give you that. 
but only because I initiated, I initiated the motherfucking conversation. You didn't call me, you didn't email me and say, listen, your payment's not gonna be able to be accepted because we overbooked for this class or we're being investigated because we're a fucking scam, because that's what I think it is. I didn't get none of that. I got some shit like, oh, okay, put a pound down payment down, and then, you know, that secures your spot, just make your other payment a week, be at least a week before the classes is due, and you're guaranteed a spot. I did all that. I get told yesterday, oh no, you're not guaranteed a spot. As a matter of fact, we're gonna refund your money because we can't guarantee any motherfucking thing. Okay, thank you, Red Cross. Called your 800 number, got no fucking response from them motherfuckers. Oh, you have to talk to your, your, your area motherfucking manager. I'm not talking to anybody the fuck else unless it's face to face. And if I don't get my money in cash, fuck refunding my credit card. No, give me my money in cash. Give me my paperwork I gave you and reimburse me for my time and travel it took for me to go to Springfield to get a fucking physical and a fucking PPD. I'm a fucking Jew. We ain't even supposed to be getting needles. We ain't even supposed to be testing for this dumb shit. I'm a fucking Jew. So I ain't even supposed to be doing this. The fact that I put my motherfucking livelihood and my life on the line to get tested for some PPD shit, I know I ain't got, because I ain't been around no fucking sick ass people, but I did it for your program. Now I'm being told, oh, the program is canceled. Oh, bitch, now you got a problem. Now I'm going to get my lawyer involved. On top of me coming down there and cursing you the fuck out. I hope you ready.